Hey folks, welcome back to the next Let's Play. We are to Jello Alert Level Zero, Tally Alert Level Zero again. We are back here and I wanted to show you something. I adjusted my character. We got a hundred hack and a hundred lock pick. Oh, why is this not pristine? Find pristine item chance plus 100%. It's 102 effectively, but it wouldn't let me up it any longer. So my next level, I go up, I'll up it again. So obviously I couldn't rearrange it in that order. But, um, this is actually pretty good. I'm pretty excited. Let's talk to Provardi before we move any further. I could probably spend years fixing this boat, stem to stern. Um, oh, I guess not. I guess we aren't talking. So we're going to go take Felix onto the groundbreaker and do his thing and also tell Transorbital that we finished their job. So, Nioka, we will be back for you, hun. We're going to finish up a bunch of missions, though. I really feel good about this, getting all the companion missions done. I suspect this means we're soon going to be moving What was your family like, Felix? Did you ever know him? I never knew him. I was a stowaway. That's what they call orphans who grow up in the back bays. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. I must have been lonesome. Come on, Parvati. Who are you talking to? Imagine me pining after my family. Yeah, I suppose I was a... Touch lonesome. But hey, look at me now. I made it. I got a ship and everything. Oh, yay. Do I have points to spend? Oh, I have perks. Oh, I didn't buy my perks. Oh, hold on. We need... We need to be able to fast travel and run cumbered. And 50 ground carrying capacity. Oh, God. It's going to make me do this. So, I think... Walk speed, 25%. I like that. And we're going to go to 50% base health. I, still not? This is so annoying. 50% um, XP for companion kills. Because I don't have a science thing, do I, here? Because I want to do science weapons. That's right. That's right. So no science. Science. Oh, there you go. Science weapon damage. 40 carrying, 40 kilograms. Um... 10 dialogue skill. I think I like that. Oh my god, they're still not going to let me buy very many of these, are they? Comp and companion cooldowns. I don't care about the companion penalty to accuracy. So instead of that, I think we're going to go with... I got that. So I guess we'll do 5 minute interactable range and 65% movement penalty. Science weapon damage again. Um, oh, headshot kills deal 20% damage to enemies within, oh, well, that's kind of cool. Revive companions, 25% health. Oh, that's not bad, but I haven't needed that. I haven't needed that at all. Um, oh yeah, 100 kilos of carrying capacity. There we go. That, that all looks good. Let's do it. Now we got way mega science weapons. We'll go to my inventory. And we're going to move. So this bad boy here. The mind ray. I don't like the gloop gun. I'm not good at that kind of thing. So I think we're going to do the mind ray instead of that pistol. There we go. There we go. We'll get to play a little. Because I, I haven't done the science weapons. I figure it's not a bad thing to try. So we're going to return to Lilia. Then we're going to go handle Felix's stuff. Life is good. Oh, I think we're going to sell off some stuff, too. Sell off my junk. There we go. We're out of here. All right, here we go to sublight. Go in, go up the elevator. Hopefully she doesn't try to kill me or do something stupid. That's kind of my hope. Hi, Lilia. Finally, a base of our own. Soon we'll have eyes on every corner of the system. Well done, Captain. You'll also find some Automex salvage awaiting the new owners. I'll have those dismantled. You can never be too careful when moving into someone else's territory. Aside from the automated security, 
Did you meet any resistance at the station? No, are you, well, you deal gunship buzz the station, but I convinced them to back off. <sighs> I knew it. They've been shadowing us since Monarch, maybe even longer. I've been less than honest with you. Your assignments weren't strictly about the salvage business. You might have figured that out already. Perception, rare gas in a lab that tested it on people couldn't have been a coincidence. You have an eye for patterns. Good. We need more contractors like you. After the Monarch job, I started connecting the dots. I didn't like the picture. Then what we found at Station 1084 confirmed my fears. You and I have stumbled onto something big. Something none of us were meant to know. Bad news, I take it. Maybe the worst. Ask yourself why a skeleton crew was studying that Alta Vitae gas in secret. Ask yourself why stockpiles were hidden on a planet full of monsters. I'm guessing you have an idea. Before we go any further, I want you to keep an open mind. Can you do that for me, Captain? Yeah, I can do that. Aliens. I'm talking about aliens. They're the ones responsible for the deaths at 1084, and who knows what else. We have to put a stop to it. I knew it. Aliens from other worlds been visiting Halcyon. At least one of your crew can keep an open mind. But this isn't some Aetherwave serial millstone. This is reality. Aliens. Aliens. Really? Say nothing. Aliens. I'll say like I know it. I'm saying it's aliens. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm not even asking you to believe it. But I need to act on this threat to the colony, and I can't do it alone. This doesn't feel at all right, Captain. Damn, she's serious. Tragic, ain't it? What age does to your mental faculties? The crew is skeptical. That's good. I don't want you walking into the unknown with blindfolds on. I assume you have questions? Uh, a few. If we're going to see this through, I'll need your trust and commitment. Now's the time for setting doubts aside. When you say aliens, what are you talking about here? Conspiracy. One carried out with the help of human collaborators, assuming they haven't all been replaced. This is an invasion of our very cells. That damned gas is mixing our nuclein with halcyon biology to twist us, change us. Make us more like those monsters on Monarch. Um, I haven't seen any evidence of aliens. No kidding. That's how they want it. When I lined up the evidence in my spreadsheet, there was only one possible conclusion looking back at me. This is my data talking, not my anxiety or lack of sleep. How do you know I'm not an alien on a spy mission to silence you? Sharing my findings took a calculated risk. If you were a spy, I doubt you'd even realize it. Only your cells would know. Well, that's comforting. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to cross my eyes for coming and get you, Lila. Well, that's comforting. Probably nothing to worry about, as long as you don't start growing tentacles or slowing down time. All right, what needs to be done? Dr. Chartrand is the crooked psychopath behind the gas experiments. She sold out her species. I need you to put a bullet through her skull. Sounds messy, but I'll take the job. Why does she need to die? Hold on. She's a research scientist and a damn good one. Before UDL poached her, she engineered a 0.2% increase in cysty pig juiciness. Now she's doing the same thing with humanity. Her fingerprints were all over Station 1084. You saw what she did to her team. When did Sublet get so principled? Your concern for the fate of our species is admirable. You've got me all wrong. I just want to add Savior of Humanity to my resume. I've got ambitions outside of this office, you know. Besides, this way Sublet gets first dibs on alien salvage. Sounds nice. I'll take a job. Merger is incurred in my contract or employment agreement. Um, signs went in the labs I passed, though, didn't seem that evil. 
Do you usually come across innocent people trapped in suspension tanks? Because some of us would call that excessive. Remember, the tanks were just the shit she left behind. Just imagine the experiments she carted off to her next lab. Ah, uh, murder isn't covered in my contract or employment agreement. Where does charge trend fit? Okay, we'll just say sounds messy, but I'll take the job. This key card will get you through the front door of her Byzantium estate. Don't ask how I got it. You might not like the answer. By now, the other side knows what you're doing. Don't trust anything Chartrand says. She's compromised down to the bone. Maybe even deeper than that. All right. Well, that means maybe we can get to Byzantium for Pavardi. So first and foremost, let's go to the map. Ooh, Felix, what do you have for what for skills? Oh, it resets everybody's. Oh, I did not know that. Ten persuade. Um. Range weapon. I think five armor rating's good. Oh, what do we got here? Thirty percent harmful status effect duration. Twenty-five percent for five seconds. Um, I'm really not sure how to do this though. Can it swaps load? Weapons much faster. Okay, so I think we'll do harmful status effects. And then finally, plus three armor rating for 10 seconds. Oh, I guess that's it. So we'll go here, accept, Pavardi. All right, honey, what do you got? I'm sorry, I left that. There we go. One. Mods in the field, armor rating. We're gonna go extract mods in the field. 30% less harmful status effect duration and call it good. Hell yeah. All right, so from here, Groundbreaker Promenade. Oh, okay, so now we need to select our next thing, which would be for Felix. Friendships do. Find Trask. All right, Trask. Oh, it's not very far away, so let's go take care of this. Come on down, folks. Oh, pick the locks just to... Here we go. Oh, shit. What does this do? That is kind of interesting. Oh, shit. That's interesting. I'm sure everyone is fine. I'm sure I'm even better though. Ooh, steel heavy machine gun. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, let's give this bad boy to Pavardi. Heavy machine gun, 48, 57, but that's with you being upgraded. Ooh, maybe not. Your Saltuna here still does really well. So we're going to give that maybe to um, Yoka then. Can you keep us out. Hey, how'd you get back there? Traffic's down all over. Even the inners are holding on to their manufacturing. Exports are way down. Okay, so 23 crew, meters that way. How do we get out. there? Get oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> that was kind of funny. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the fall. You mind? Trying to have a moment here. All right, Rosina. I'm looking for a guy by the name of Rufus Trask. I'm told he lived around here. 
Rufus and I are no longer on speaking terms. I don't know where he is. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Show her Har Harlow's emblem. You know where Trask is, you want to tell me. That's Harlow's mark, no mistake. Guess he's not letting this one go. I don't want any manner of harm befalling Rufus. Not on my account. I don't trust Harlow. I want to find out, find out the truth. Yeah, well, you got reason to mistrust Harlow. He's a surly git, but he's devious. Rufus is hiding out in Emerald Vale. Got a few friends with him. That's as much as I know. Um, got a few more questions? Please, just make it quick. Will you and Trask split up? That's right. Our marriage contract expired some months ago. And seeing how he's technically an outlaw, I wouldn't renew even if I wanted to. How much do you know about Harlow? Precious little. He and Rufus worked together on the Groundbreaker some years back before he vanished. A few years later, Rufus gets a message from an old friend. Something about starting a revolution. Something about getting rich. Abandoned his work and ran off that very day. Sounds familiar, Felix. So Clyde sent Trask the same message he sent me. What's the problem? Word of advice, kid? Anybody carrying on about a revolution just wants to sell you something. I don't know, Harlow. Never so much as bandied a word with the fellow. You're better off having this discussion with Brufus. Um, Harlow tells me Trask betrayed him. Do you know anything about that? Only that Rufus is in a bad way. He came to see me a little ways back. Said he had to go into hiding. Never asked why. He was here to collect his personals, complain about Harlow to me, and say goodbye. In that order. He didn't tell you anything about Harlow? No, and he was particular about that. Said I was better off not getting entangled in his mess. Little late for that, says I. That's all I want to know? I'll leave you be. Appreciate it. No offense meant. Just been a long day is all. No offense taken, baby. No offense taken. All right. I think let's go back to the ship. Shippy time. Shippy time. So we'll go to... Unreliable documents. Unreliable. Okay, folks, we will wrap it up here. I think we're going to make it a little bit short. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care.